Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will be showing you that uh, how you can integrate uh, Stripe payment gateway inside your PHP application using Stripe charges API so we will have a simple button out there guys we you will see this is a Stripe button you can pay with your credit card so this is a PHP application server site when you open the home page you will be landing with this interface pay with card so as you click this button guys a pop-up window will appear here you can see I am running this on test mode you can see on the right hand side and then basically whatever you are selling right here it it will be listed here you can write uh, see my logo here you can also place your logo I will show all this stuff to you how you can do this this is the name of your product coding Siksha videos this is a short little description this is your email address from which you are selling and here you, you enter uh, your visitor whichever they want to purchase your product they will enter their credit card number the, this is expiry date and CVC number and Stripe do provide this test card number so we can basically do this for testing purposes so then we can write any date future date and then CVC number any three digit CVC number and now if I cl click this pay button guys let me show you uh, no payments have been do done here you can see I am running this on test mode my stripe account so you do need to have a stripe account for this and if you go to payments here I do need to first of all write the password let me write this so this is my stripe dashboard guys so you will see that uh, these succeeded uh, succeeded payments are there uh, so I need to first of all make this payment as I click the pay button what should happen it will redirect and it will return a JSON response whenever the payment is done you will now see guys basically it returns this response and all this information is uh, captured here you will see uh, this is a description destination all that stuff and basically this is the recipe URL guys that stripe provides you you can open this recipe URL you can go to it and it is automatically generated you will see that this is the name of the product recipe from the name of the person this is the amount paid which is five dollars the date is June 12 2023 and the time and what is the payment method and this is the product name and this one amount charge is five dollar so if I now refresh my dashboard guys if I click refresh button now you will also see this transaction you can see five dollar USD and the name of the customer you can see geeky Gautam 1997 at the rate gmail.com and June 12 300 uh, 316 p.m. and this is my PHP code guys so uh, let me just uh, modify this code right here let me uh, change you can also change the currency as well if you don't want to pay in uh, USD uh, dollars you can change this so let's suppose I change this currency let's suppose to 1500 so here also I need to change here 1500 and description let me change to like this so you can all modify this code guys basically it uh, we are just modifying the price so that let me show you once again what this returns again if I click this now you will see it is again five dollars so what I will do right here inside uh, data amount is 1500 okay just refresh here so now it becomes fifteen dollars guys you will see that so basically you are seeing the pattern here so fifteen hundred represents fifteen dollar here so depending upon whether you want to charge here how many how much rupees you need to charge we need to modify that rate and once again if I fill out the entry and uh, very smooth process is there guys stripe is one of the very easy payment gateways to integrate in any application so now your payment is done and again it generates this recipe URL guys 
you can directly redirect the user to this receipt URL basically the user will see this sorry let me refresh this so you can see that $15 USD coding Siksha videos Geeky Gautam this is a customer here you will see that so we will now be integrating guys basically how this is I think this is a receipt URL so you can see it is generated receipt URL you can directly redirect the user to this receipt so that the user can see the payment receipt that whichever product that the user has ordered it has been payment has been received successfully so now guys first of all as I already told you we are using PHP SDK of stripe for this application so uh, I will write the code from scratch so you can go to the description of the video guys you can purchase the full source code of this application so first of all I have written this uh, uh, PHP SDK for stripe so this you can find it in the description of the video so basically we have this init.php file which we need to include for stripe integration inside our PHP application so we are basically using here uh, exam control panel so you need to uh, install this apache software from the internet and start your apache server on local host 80 port number after that you do need this uh, sdk library guys the link is given you can purchase the full source code and in it.php file we will include this so now inside we will basically create a file in the root directory which is config.php so inside this file guys first of all what we need to do we do need to include this init.php file we will simply use require and simply we will write here the folder name which is try php master slash init.php so we are including that file guys and then we need two variables guys publishable key and uh, the secret key so these two things we will get it from the stripe dashboard so you just need to basically create a stripe account guys and uh, after this basically just go to it and uh, here inside your you just need to turn on the uh, test mode and after this go to developers and basically go to api keys and this is your useful information guys this is your publishable key and uh, you need to paste this publishable key right here and this is your secret key simply paste it so simply paste it so these things will be different for you guys so don't copy my details so and after that we do need to set these details in the stripe sdk so we will simply say stripe it contains a function guys which is set api key and here we will pass this secret key that's all so that's all that you need to do inside your config.php file guys now we will make the new file which is index.php so here we will have a simple form where we will show to the user so first of all we do need to include that config php file right here at the top so we will simply require that file config.php that's all after this guys we will have the simple form where we will show the form to the user and action whenever the user submit the form we will redirect the user to the submit.php and the method will be post and then guys inside this we will have we will load this uh, stripe api in checkout api using the cdn checkout stripe.com slash checkout dot js so this is the cdn that we need to include and then guys we do have stripe button and uh, these are different attributes that you need to do data key and inside this data key guys uh, basically you do need to include the publishable key that you created the variable publishable key that's all close the php tag and then the name of the product guys so this will be let's suppose coding siksha videos 
and then we will have basically the description here description of the product so you can give a short little description to the product here so we can say that these are coding section videos so so you can customize your accordingly whichever product you are selling you can write the title of the product description of the product and then you can even have the image of the product as well so inside this attribute so you can provide the url of the image so so whatever is your product image you can copy paste the url so what i will do is that i will copy image address simply paste it so this is the image of the product and then comes the currency so in which currency you are selling it i am selling it in united states dollars and then the email of the person so from which email you are selling so if anybody have a doubt they can contact you so you can write your email address that's all so this completes your form guys so we can now close the script tag so we can close the script tag here so just close it right here that's all so if you now open this inside browser guys so we just need to say here localhost stripe project so now you will see a card right here guys and if you click this card you will now see a pop up window which appear and you will see your product image this is a title that you have given this is a description this is the email address so all these things are customizable guys you can change this email address like this if i change this it will be reflected back you will see that it is all customizable so make sure to customize this accordingly so the thing is that whenever now you write your credit card number here it will now make this uh, post request to this url that we created submit.php so now we need to create this file which is submit.php so here we just need to uh, inside this file what we need to do after we do this inside this php code you first of all need to require the config php file right here at the top and then guys you will first of all check for the token so whenever you make a payment guys this stripe token will automatically gets created and generated so we will first of all check if this token is not present then we will not execute the code so if this token is present inside the url then we will simply make or create that checkout request to the stripe server so first of all you need to uh, disable the ssl because we are running this application on local host we are not running it on a real domain name so we need to disable the ssl support so stripe does require that you need to have ssl there on your domain name which is https so we do need to disable this first of all after you disable this now we can make our transactions so first of all we do need to store this token which is generated so we will now be storing this token which inside this post request stripe token so if this token is valid in that case we will have our data stripe and inside the charges api we will create the charge here like this it contains this method create and we will create and it's an array here and inside this array we will pass some properties which basically have uh, four things in the properties these four things are uh, first of all the amount the amount you can basically put any amount that you want then comes the currency which we set united state dollar and the description that you set
so after this guys uh, after the description we also need to tell the source whichever source will be the actual token so we will simply replace the token which we receive right here so put a semicolon right here that's all put a comma as well so so that's all after do doing this we just need to echo out this response so we can simply say pre and then we can print out that response json response so we can simply say data so that's all that you need to do guys and now if you basically go to your project click on this button and you use a any testing card number so do the transactions so it is saying that pay uh, I think that it is not coming here let me check here okay I think we haven't provided the number which we need to sell here yeah so we are missing this uh, attribute which is data amount so just set this amount guys uh, this can be numeric value 1500 comes out to be 15 dollars so if you again refresh so now it is saying pay 15 dollars so now you put your test credit card number and CVC number and click on this pay button so now stripe will redirect you to this it is saying that call to undefined method stripe set verify okay let me check I think we have made a mistake here uh, this method doesn't exist stripe stripe okay this is not sir it is set set verify SSL certificate so just put it click continue and now it will return this JSON response to us guys you will see it will hold all this uh, information that this is the ID of the purchase this is an object here amount is 1500 amount captured and you can see the description customer currency all this information is returned to us and basically uh, it is captured using visa card and it also returned you this uh, receipt here you will see receipt url this is a property in a real life scenario you will redirect the user directly to this page receipt url you will see that if i now refresh my uh, dashboard of stripe you will see this uh, payment is go to payments and now you will see 15 dollars this payment is captured so this is the way by which you can integrate stripe payment gateway inside your php application and browser this is very easy if you want to have any sort of shopping website food ordering website you can list out your products and directly sell this using stripe payment gateway so just create a stripe account and i have shown you in this video all the source code is given you can directly purchase the full source code i have given the link in the description of the video and thank you very much for watching this video